Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will quickly understand what pattern recognition is all about. What are the significant differences that one should understand and the relationship between the pattern recognition and object detection will be discussed and it's going to be a quick and interesting session. What is pattern first of all? A pattern refers to specific visual arrangement or structure that recurs or has a very superb easily recognizable form within an image or set of images. I repeat, it has to have a specific visual arrangement or a structure that can be easily recognized. These patterns can be simple or complex. It can have various features, shapes, textures, colors or arrangements, but that repeat or exhibit at certain regularity. The identification of regularities in the data can then be used to make predictions, categorize information and to provide decision making process. Yes, we need this regularities to be identified and the process of doing that is called as pattern recognition. Some simple example can be the colors in the clothes, the speech pattern. In the computer science, a pattern is represented using vector feature values. For an instance, there is a shirt which has got a specific pattern all over it in terms of boxes or stars or whatever. That's called a pattern. We can recognize. Even the voice has got a pattern. You can identify my voice so easily because of some specific similarity that I that I present you all the time. So you can identify my voice so easily. So the identification of the regularities will help you in making predictions, will help you in categorizing information and improve the decision making process. Well, what are the types of patterns? Geometric pattern, texture pattern, object pattern and color pattern. What is geometric pattern? The first one in the right corner can be taken as a reference. These involve repetitive geometric shapes or arrangements which include grids, circles, lines or other regular structures. You can see that out there. And texture, it's interesting, it's there in the shirts that we often see, the saris, the dresses that we wear, often that we have textures inside it. So certain textures or surface characteristics can form patterns like the texture of a fabric or wood grain, all the tiles in the walls that we are seeing a repetitive arrangement of leaves in the forest. All those fall under the texture patterns category. Object patterns, recognizable objects or elements that repeat or occur in a specific way within an image. For example, series of similar objects arranged in a sequence. You've got chairs arranged in a pattern properly. You've got tables arranged. You've got monitor, computers, all those things arranged. That can become object patterns. Color patterns, the name tells you very clearly. Repetition, or regular arrangement of colors within an image. I have presented you a simple image where tablets are arranged that way, where it can have the regular arrangements of colors within an image, whether it's in the form of a gradient or a sequence, or it can be specific color distributions. So we have four types here, geometric patterns, texture patterns, object patterns, and color patterns. And I hope it is very interesting for you to know that. Now, what is pattern recognition? It is the ability to recognize, interpret, and categorize recurring arrangements or structures in the data. There are recurring arrangements, there are patterns available, and you need to identify it. Once you do it, that's called as pattern recognition. It is noticing the similarities or familiar features within the information and using that recognition to identify or classify objects, shapes, sequences, or behaviors. Well, we need that information. We have gotten that information. Now we use it to do further further inferences can be obtained out of it. So we can arrange, we can identify classes, we can identify shapes, we can go ahead and identify sequences. All these can be done very clearly with this uh, pattern recognition. Now I'm giving you a small instance out here. You are having collection of images containing different animals. We are all humans and we can quickly distinguish between a cat and a dog or a bird based on the fur, feathers, size, shape, and many features are there, right? So we can identify which is a cat and which is a dog so easily. So pattern recognition in technology involves teaching machines or algorithms to perform similar tasks. That's it. We are teaching them to identify distinguishing features or patterns within the data, which can effectively make classifications or predictions. I am identifying which is cat or a dog on seeing the picture because of the features. Similarly, if we do that with a machine, that's exactly it. And now Pattern recognition involves finding regularities. I have used this word already. We are finding the regularities and the similarities are repeated elements within a data set. Using this information, one should be able to make sense or 
we should be able to take action based on that recognition. We are using pattern recognition widely in image processing, speech recognition, handwriting recognition, medical diagnosis, and so many applications have come in. Now, there is a standard question that's being asked. Now, there is a standard question that is always posted. Is object detection and the pattern recognition are the same? No, they are closely related concepts, but we need to understand the differences. Pattern recognition is a broader concept. It involves in identifying and interpreting patterns or regularities within the data, which can as well include the images. It is totally aiming to recognize and categorize these patterns based on the features, structures, or characteristics. And when you come to images, pattern recognition is all about identifying the edges, the textures, the shapes, other visual features that are prominent that will help you in identifying and distinguishing one pattern from another. Object detection, when you take it from the other side, is a task within computer vision that not only recognizes pattern within the images, but it has also to locate and identify specific objects within the image. I repeat, it is not only going to recognize pattern, but also it has to localize and identify specific objects within the image. It goes just above identifying patterns. It is not just identifying patterns. It is aiming to locate where certain objects could be present in the image and it can also classify them as what based on predefined categories. We are now going to take feature extraction and understand how object detection and pattern recognition works with it. Both object detection and pattern recognition start with feature extraction. That's the first stage. These features include edge, corners, textures, or more complex representations as well. And feature extraction is going to be common for both the object detection and pattern recognition. Next is classification. Pattern recognition techniques play a real crucial role within object detection frameworks. After the features are extracted, classification algorithms are used to categorize and then to label the detected objects into predefined classes or categories. And then comes the localization. Object detection not only involves recognizing objects, but they have to also localize them within an image and that's very important. We will normally use bounding boxes around the detected objects. This localization process often involves identifying patterns or distinctive features to accurately define objects position and size. Now, to conclude it and to summarize it, pattern recognition deals with identifying and categorizing patterns within the uh, data. It can be images as well. Object detection is a specific application that utilizes pattern recognition technique to not only recognize, but also to precisely locate and then to classify objects within the images. So that's the major difference that you need to understand. So when you come to pattern recognition, it is used to identify and categorize pattern within the image. Object detection goes a step above and it has to even locate it and then we can classify objects within the images. I hope it was useful and quick. If you have any questions, please type it in the chat section. I'll take it up and I'll answer it. If you like the channel, kindly subscribe. Thank you.